All new at 11 now timing and luck keeps a Polk County family safe as a car barrels through the side of their home. ABC Action News reporter Michael Palusco with an inside look at the damage and why this crash could have been so much worse. Well, it's amazing no one was injured. This is where the car came through the home. A table was here, ended up across the room. Normally, a two-year-old is in here playing. All of a sudden, I heard like this big bang, like boom. I just seen my back table I had back there, it was, like flying against the room there. This Haines City grandma still shaken. It was that loud that I got so scared. Delia Osorio says she was watching TV around 3.30 when this Ford Focus crashed into her home. She was inside along with her 15-year-old son and her two-year-old granddaughter. It, it was just scary. I didn't know what to do or say. I didn't, I didn't even want to look over there. I was so scared. I was like, I don't know, maybe someone's throwing a bomb or something. <laughs> Haines City Police identified the driver as 27-year-old Dustin Donahoe. This is a mugshot from a previous arrest. Firefighters had to cut him out of the car, trapped under the rubble. Thankful her family is safe, Osorio now worries about the driver. I do want to know if he's okay. I mean, you know, I, I just don't want anything to happen to him, you know. Right. Maybe something happened to him while he was driving. Donahoe was wearing a seatbelt and is okay. He was charged with careless driving. Investigators now working to find out if he was impaired or if it was just an accident. Osorio is glad that no one was seriously injured. Oh, yes. I'm just thanking God that we're good. We're just safe. In Polk County, Michael Paluska, ABC Action News.